Hello and welcome to another tropical update for Cayman Hurricane Center. I'm Adam McDoom. And good morning to all of you. Uh, we're talking about a couple of areas to uh, speak of. I'll be taking closer note to one of those areas in particular. Invest area 91L out in the main development region uh, about a thousand plus miles east of Barbados that you know is moving off towards the west and uh, this system poses the most threat to land compared to any other system out there in the Atlantic at present so uh, we shall look at such. So just giving the particulars on Invest 91L. It's currently located or uh, located at 06 Zulu or uh, at location 13.3 North, 39.9 West. Pressure 1011, winds still at 30. So uh, not too much has changed. It has moved further to the west. And uh, this will continue throughout its uh, track for the most part as it continues off towards the Caribbean. Here is the latest satellite imagery of the area. As as it's always been, uh, Invest 91L is a fairly large area with uh, sort of twin partially attached to it. That twin to its east is now starting to detach itself from uh, 91L. And there now is two areas of vorticity maximums. One located here into the west where 91 L is located and another one off to the east where uh, another weak low has developed there as well don't anticipate the development of this one so much this is the area to focus on as the vorticity in this area is much stronger and a bit more organized than say this one Although that uh, convection at the present time is slightly, slightly a bit better with this one. But with this one, uh, it's starting to get there over time. It will get, uh, get itself better organized. Likely with the next 24 hours or so, it'd uh, see much better organization out of uh, the system. So uh, here is how it looks on the surface chart. Again, Invest 91L located here, and it's somewhat um, now disjointed twin uh, here. Uh, this one's expected to move off towards uh, generally the west, west, northwest. Not really much of an issue to develop. Um, there's some models that were kind of throwing it, that idea around, but um, main area, again, is the one to the west. Also, another wave about to kick off of Africa. That one is being watched closely for development uh, as we get later on into the week and weekend um, as it uh, continues to move west, west, northwest. Big high pressure system, and again, stirring flow definitely still west. And you, you could even see the pressure fields behind Hurricane Gert uh, that it's already filling back in underneath Gert as Gert moves uh, up and out. This is the vorticity chart, the at the low level, the 850 millibar vorticity chart. This 
Uh, to some, is considered a bit like the X-ray of a system. You have to see how the spin is in the atmospheric low levels. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we have here on the left is uh, GERT, very tightly bonded up, very strong vorticity, very circular. We have our Invest 91L located here, along uh, near 40 West. Uh, again, the vorticity is a bit stronger and it's a bit more rounded and it's getting itself more organized. However, it's nearly disjointed twin here off the east. Still sort of broad, elongated, and it's still um, much attached to the monsoon. And uh, again, not really um, that sort of organization that you're starting to see with Invest 91L here. 91L should continue off that way. This should continue on a more west to west northwest track, but either way, not expecting much to come of it. So uh, here is the stirring flow for the uh, area, just to give you another visual representation of what I showed you on the surface chart with the higher pressure, just to give you a general idea on where things are going as such. So again, our invest area located right over here, just south of the high pressure ridge. The high pressure ridge extends all the way over, already extending into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, so this should continue pretty much straight forward uh, west to west northwest into the Caribbean and uh, maybe uh, going uh, forward from there, possibly Gulf of Mexico thread. Long days away before we get to that. So we'll have to see how things go. This is the forecast models for the latest forecast models for Invest 91L. And um, as you could see, and looking at previous updates that I did and update now, the models have definitely come to much more of an agreement with each other. And the forecast uh, track for the system seems to be a bit more straightforward than before. So again, uh, this is Invest 91L over here. And again, continuing off towards the general direction of west, west, northwest. And in the Caribbean, it shall go. Uh, again, remember we saw models earlier which had it much more closer towards uh, Puerto Rico and Hispaniola and the northern leeward islands, but now that is more shifted towards the uh, windward islands or the southern leeward islands, and then likely to pass south of Puerto Rico, uh, south of Hispaniola. This definitely puts uh, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and uh, even as far south as northern Honduras in, uh, in the uh, scope of 91L. So definitely a concern, especially as I've mentioned in my, uh, in my previous update, the oceanic heat content in this area is very high, very, very high. And if the system does indeed get through here and at the intensity that some of the intensity guidance are suggesting that it could be, uh, it's uh, quite concerning uh, how that might affect some of these areas. So again, uh, this should be making its way into the islands by the end of the week, going into the weekend. And um, in terms of the intensity guidance, they are still suggesting that um, we would probably see a tropical storm um, within just east of the islands and maybe hurricane just as we go through the islands or just to the east of the islands. 
maybe we might see it before. It just depends on how well and how quickly this thing really picks up in organization and intensity. Uh, some of the forecast models do still show a fairly potent and very decent hurricane uh, just southeast of Jamaica um, and south of Hispaniola. We'll have to wait and see how things go, but uh, overall it's all looking pretty fantastic. Um, and as this continues further and further to the west, we will be looking out for uh, possible recon missions that will be going in and flying into the system. Again, here's the 50 degree line. This is the magic line to where recon could fly out to. Usually go from their forward operating base in St. Croix and then flies down. We'll have to see uh, exactly when they'll be sending those out. And I'll give you more update on that as it comes. So this is pretty much it from me on terms of 91L. Gert, uh, just to give a little bit more info on that, that is going to be moving up towards the north to northeast and not really affecting any land directly. Um, again, higher swells uh, along the east coast of the United States, west coast of Bermuda, as this hurricane uh, intensifies. As a matter of fact, um, according to the latest forecast for it, Gert is likely to outbeat Franklin and become the strongest hurricane thus far this season. Uh, saw that it was showing it intensifying to. 100 mile per hour to 105 mile per hour hurricane. So well into the Cat 2 range uh, as it heads up and out into the open water. Should eventually transition to extra tropical and then move out uh, towards um, the UK. It should pass though towards the north and west of the United Kingdom but uh, that might also produce some squally and uh, rough seas for that area as well. Plenty of time to watch that uh, too, um, but again, not really going to be affecting land. Um, another area that's on Africa that should be coming off, the National Hurricane Center is giving that a 20% chance over the next five days, and that too would Start off on a general west-northwest track, maybe uh, looking at some of the guidances suggesting that it might end up just merely missing the Caribbean. But we've got plenty of time, much more plenty of time for uh, watching that one. And again, our main area of interest being 91L. So with that being said, Eastern Caribbean, you better start uh, prepping yourselves, keeping a close eye on this. Um, you, know, um, you may very well be looking at a tropical storm heading towards that area by the end of this week. So, uh, you know, look out. And um, yeah, that is it for me, Adam McDuke for Cayman Hurricane Center, and I'll be back later today.